morning everyone welcome back to my channel study planet today we are going to continue with the chapter maths and today we will cover part 2 so let's start we did components of the maps which were direction distance and symbols today we will do direction and symbols we will uh, complete the three components of the maps and then we will study about the uh, sketch and the plan. So let's start with direction first. Now what is direction? Now basically direction has two parts. So first is the cardinal points and the second one is the intermediate directions. First we will study what is direction actually. So, uh, maps contain an arrow marked with N at the upper right hand corner, like marked here. As you can see, there is something like this and N is marked. So, by uh, recognizing not, we can recognize the other directions also because we know that on the right there is east, on the left we have west, on the opposite of north we have south. I hope this is clear. If we know east also, we can recognize that on the left we have north, right, and on the right we have south. I hope this is clear. Okay. So, now we will do the cardinal points. Now, what are the cardinal points? Cardinal points are the points which are the four major directions north south east and west as marked in this cardinal point map right so north south east and west this is basically a compass now we will see what are the intermediate directions intermediate directions are the directions which are north east north west south east and southwest these are generally between the uh, cardinal points like north east south and west so if it is in between north and west it is northwest in between north and east we have northeast in between uh, south and west we have southwest and in between east and south we have south east now these uh, intermediate directions are easy so now uh, with the help of the intermediate directions we can locate any place accurately more accurately with the help of these intermediate directions i have this is clear now let's start with symbols now what is basically the use of symbols if we can draw maps easily and we can label all the things symbols are used to represent very large buildings yes we know that this is a very major point but there's one more thing that we need in symbols because uh, in the maps like uh, we go to another country or another place these symbols can be used if we don't know the language of that place L okay so like uh, for the railway lines there is a broad gauge in broad gauge the uh, railway track is very broad due to which the trains could uh, run very fast easy and in a meter gauge the area of the railway okay uh, the area of the rail is very less so the trains move very slowly not very but slowly then the broad gauge now the railway station is this sign and for the meter gauge this is the sign and for the broad gauge this is the sign. For metal roads this is the sign and for non metal roads this is the sign. For international ones this is the um, boundary line and for uh, state this is the boundary line and for this it's the district. Now for the river we have this well tank canal and a bridge okay this is a temple this is a church this is a mosque and this is a chhatri post office post and telegraph office and uh, police station this is for the settlement like uh, houses and etc 
this is uh, for the graveyard and this is for the trees and this is the grave uh, this is also clear now we have one more uh, thing which is a sketch what is a sketch sketch is a drawing mainly based on memory and spot observation and they are not to scale i hope the scale method was clear so this is not to scale like if you want to go somewhere uh, so you can uh, you know check out for a plan from the other person uh, where you need to go and then uh, that person will draw some spots near to that and uh, roads that how can you go i hope this is also clear now this is a very rough drawing required of an area now, a sketch can be drawn by anyone but not a map okay now comes a plan now a plan is a drawing of a small area on a large scale for example mall or a society so for while constructing the mall uh, the architects draw a plan so that uh, uh, based on that they can construct it as you can see in this plan this is plan uh, I think of a house so this is the kitchen this is a red room bedroom uh, right this is the dining table this is the washroom again this is the store this is again a washroom this is again a bedroom this is also bedroom uh, right so uh, this kind of plans are there for the houses maybe and for the malls also like where's the entry where's the exit like that i hope this is clear thank you guys for watching the video i hope you liked it please like and share this video and comment if any doubt and please subscribe my channel thank you have a nice day